<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while since I made one, but like I said, once I get to 20 subs, I will start making daily videos. So hopefully we can reach there. But until then, um, it'll be every once in a while or just whenever, but... Um, so we're playing this, it's a pretty fun game, it's called Pixel Dungeon. Well, yeah, another Pixel Dungeon, it's a sequel to the first game. It just has more stuff, but, um, yeah. So I'm actually, uh, currently on a game right here, as you see. So there's, this guy who's like the thief, the, sc the scholar who I assume is like a magician person. And that person's probably an archer. But anyway, as you see, you have to, like, to unlock this character, defeat the third boss. And then the second, but I haven't found any bosses so far. Which sucks, because I want to get, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load this game. Okay. I never know. This is such a weird, like, you know. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta burn these, because it's a bookshelf. I remember that from the first game. I haven't played the first game in so long. I only just recently got back into this game. Okay, so those are traps. So, that's gonna kill me. I don't like it. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna die. Um... Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that I'm on a game. And I'm gonna die anyway. Great job, me. I don't even know what to do now. I'm gonna die. Stupid poison, why? Yeah, rip. Rest in peace. Well, uh, there was my first loss of the game. Starting off on a great note. Yeah, that toxic ooze is just the worst. So then you have like a healing pot or something. You can't really get it off you. There's a lot of wax. Can you just die please? Thank you. Yeah, food. Okay, uh, there's something else here. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, you just like tap a tile and then you walk there. Um, and then you can either tap on the creatures or tap, like, you see, uh, beneath, like, the arrow, uh, on the right of the screen, the little, you know, the little rat thing. If I just tap on that as well, he'll fight it. Uh, okay, well, he ran away. No, I didn't mean that. And then this little water skin that I have down here, um, by the bag, that actually gives me health. But then you gotta find a well to refill it, so... All these herbs help me make pots, uh, potions for non-gamers, but, um, yeah. Oh, there we go. And then, see, this is where I get down to, if I go here and here, I go down to level two. But you kind of want to explore the whole area to make sure you're getting all the loot you can. Because you definitely want to be, you know, strong, getting stronger as you go down. Otherwise, you're just going to get completely wrecked. What I pick up? Uh, I do not need that. And you got to be very skeptical of picking, um, picking up, like, items, like weapons. Especially freaking quarter stabs. I don't know why it's always the quarter stabs. But every time you pick up a freaking quarter stab, like, 50% of the time, it's going to be cursed. Which basically means you can't unequip it, so then you're stuck with that weapon for the entire game, and it really sucks. Just trying to make sure I explode the entirety of this level. Okay. Hmm. With that many people around it, I'm going to make an assumption that it's a really good scroll, so... slapped around a lot. And get wrecked me. Okay. 
See, like, whenever you get potions and scrolls that you pick up, the first time you do it, you don't know what they are about. So sometimes it could be good, sometimes it could be bad. It's just a gamble. Oh, um, I think this might be a good one. We'll see. Interesting. Nice. Now it does a lot more damage. I'm happy about that. Thank you, Squirrel. Thank you. I'm doing this because sometimes there's secret doors that you gotta have to, like, walk around in that area and then he'll be like, oh, I noticed something, and then it'll appear, so. Let me go ahead and read this. Well, now I just upgraded my sword twice, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna slap some scrub. Dang, how much damage do I do? Hold on. 13... 11. I do quite a bit then. I'm gonna equip that to that because then I can throw those at people. Oh, I got a key. Yeah, and then if you find the keys, like, see, here's a potion. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, invisibility. I mean, it doesn't really help you unless you're, like, in combat directly, but. Oh, see, this is most likely a hidden door. You have to see. And then it's funny because, see, this black, like, abyss, right? If you, like, try and click on it, it goes. Do you really want to jump into the chasm? You'll probably die. Which, what really happens is, you, you either die or you fall down a couple levels of the dungeon. And take quite a bit of damage, actually. So it's kind of your decision. And see, then here's the door that I got that key for. Oop. And then now I can, yay, make some stuff. Didn't even do anything. Oh, hey. Yeah, I got potions for days. Ow! Oh, it hurts. It burns. Hold on. I know what I gotta do. No! <laughs> that did a lot of damage. Jeez. I was trying to get up here to the, um, as you see, there's water up here. I was trying to do that, but I died. Yep. That was a pretty good run, too. Dang it, man. And I'm just gonna get out of this because it's really annoying. Hold on. Yes. The music in here is pretty loud at the main screen. Anyway, so that is Pixel Dungeon. If you guys want me to play more, just go ahead, lop a, ugh, drop a like by man. I can't speak English. Um, I am alien, dude. Anyway, uh, just drop a drop a like, comment, and uh, I'll make this a series most likely. Peace out, dudes.